1,000 subscribers! Oh, I didn't believe it would happen. Quite a milestone. And uh, as tradition dictates, I shall be answering some questions in a goblinish Q&A session. So, the questions. I've um, snuck up to the library above my cave earlier and used their printer. <laughs> Printed off some questions. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. So a question that occurs several times, asked by a few different people, uh, including Tess Avery Books and uh, Evan Rodriguez, among others, is what's my favourite book? Well, as you can guess, that is not an easy question. If I asked you, could you give me an answer? So many factors. I would say I have perhaps a favourite book in each genre. I have a favourite book from, from when I started reading and I have a favourite most recent read. So if I had to really pin it down to what is my favourite book or favourite set of books, well actually it's not that hard. My favourite books are the Wheel of Time books by Robert Jordan and latterly completed by Brandon Sanderson. I've, um, I've got them all. Books 1 through 14, uh, and the prequel as well, and in my opinion they're the best books written. I mean, ugh. Book 10, Crossroads of Twilight, was a bit slow and a bit disappointing, but even the author recognised that. That's where he went back and wrote the prequel and came back and um, Book 11, Knife of Dreams, really shows that he was back in the swing of it. So yes, The Wheel of Time are my favourite books. Another question that occurs more than once is, do I do any writing? Um, no. That was easy. Oh, and, and actually one of the people that asked that extends the question to uh, inquire what goblin literature is like. And um, frankly, humans don't really have the intellect to comprehend goblin literature, so I won't try to explain it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what else have we got? Um, so, Tess Avery Books asks, what is my favourite video that I've made? And that, that is again quite a hard one to choose. Um, my first video is definitely a contender. My booktube newbie tag where I introduced myself to the community. Quite enjoyed that one, it's quite memorable. Um, and, and some of my art projects, like uh, making book covers out of other book covers was, uh, was quite enjoyable. I like to express myself. Um, I think the one I'm going to choose as my favourite is actually the first rhyming video I did. It was actually a review of The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. And I did it in a rhyming style as homage to Julia Donaldson. And I quite enjoyed it. Which is why I've continued to make rhyming videos. I suppose it's a bit of a theme of my channel. And I quite look forward to, uh, to composing those videos for you. Uh, ooh, not sure how to say this person. The Legnet of Oromax asks, Have I read a book that is about killing or harming goblins? They don't exist, do they? I don't believe her. Why would anyone write about that? Uh, um, Evan Rodriguez asks, Do I have any hobbies? Well, I'm not sure I'd call it a hobby, but I do spend a lot of time chasing pixies around my cave, trying to keep it pixie free. Because pixies chew books. So, 
So, um, yeah. I guess that's kind of a hobby. Uh, do I like video games? What? Favourite film? Hmm. Not sure what films are. Only kidding, but no. What's my ideal story? Well, obviously it would have a goblin main character as the hero. It would not be predictable. And... I guess I quite like anti-hero stories. Um... I don't like romance, but goblins aren't very romantic. So, ultimately, yes, a heroic goblin doing something exciting and unpredictable. Um, I'm not sure what. I'm not very good at thinking up plots. This is why I don't write. If I could go anywhere, where would I go and why? Um... Maybe Antarctica. I've heard there's not many humans there. That'd be nice. Oh, you know, I think that rather than if I could go anywhere, a more interesting question would be if I could go any when. I love the idea of time travel. Um, although that would be a much harder question. I guess I'd like to see a little bit of every time period. I'm particularly keen on, uh, like, Alexander the Great and his era. I suspect Alexander the Great was actually a goblin. Just a theory. Mariana Mosquera asks, What is my favourite reading snack? Hmm, well... Like all goblins, I'm semi-addicted to yeast extract. Black, oozy, thick yeast extract. Ooh! I want to eat something now, but I won't. That'd be rude. Let's see, um... So, Syrap asks, Do I wear the same clothes every day? Yes. And what do I think of elves? Well, generally, I think you can't trust them, sneaky elves. Another question that's featured a couple of times is, is why did I start my channel? Um, ultimately, it's because of uh, the lack of goblins on YouTube. I don't know where they all are. So I thought, someone's got to represent this part of society. And it looks like it's got to be me. And leading on from that, a couple of people have asked where I see my channel going, what I see as my goals for this channel. And I want to be the most famous goblin on YouTube. I'm actually doing quite well with that goal. <laughs> uh, let's see, so Catherine Warner asks, what is my favourite Harry Potter book and least favourite? I've only actually read the first one. So I suppose that's both my favourite and least favourite. Although I am planning to read book two soon. Hmm. Thoughts on Dobby the House Elf? What's a Dobby the House Elf? Anyone? Uh, what's my name? Um. I didn't realise that was a secret. I assumed you all knew. My name is Gobius. Gobius Snotslark. But you can just call me the Book Goblin. Will Herondale asks, what's the most expensive book I own? Um, well, I suppose that would have to be one of the few hardbacks I've bought. Um, which, which is probably any one of these three. Uh, several of the later books in the Wheel of Time cycle. 
um, wasn't quite patient enough for the paperbacks. They suckered me in on the hardbacks. I don't like hardbacks. Oh, nearly missed this page. Um, Lucille Renard asks, in what direction do I think Jay Kristoff will take the final Nevernight book? Well, I actually made quite a adventurous guess a couple of videos ago in um, Blunt Book Briefs. Watch that video and um, near the end you'll discover my thoughts on the final of the three Nevernight books. I'm sure you'll agree I'm probably right. And she also asks how old I am. Well that's rude. I'm old. Very old. Um, another question is why doesn't my mouth move very much? Well, I'd have thought the answer to that was obvious. Goblin vocal cords are in our ears. We can actually talk in stereo. Mouths are for eating. I can't believe you humans use the same orifice for both things. Huh, disgusting. <laughs> and finally, Jessica Tinholt asks, where did I get my pointy hat? Well, it's from Rod. But we don't talk about Rod. Um, thanks for watching and I'd like to give you all the special thanks for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers. And um, if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll be part of my next 1,000 subscribers. A goblin's got to have goals.